Hi, my name is Beth. Hi. Rachel. Nancy. And our project was for ABC of NC um, this year for Dash Core. And then after reading the project proposal, they asked for a more engaging, colorful, and up-to-date website, and then the job of Dash Crop. And then for us, is looking through the website and then inspect all the information they has, and also make suggestions for their new website. Since the information in the website is different than what they provide, the, here is the picture of their current. It's really colorful, more fun compared to the old website it has. Part of our process for gaining information on ABC of NC was a site visit. And the facility is a very new, um, when we toured it, there was instead of a school, a clinic, as well as therapy rooms that all involved engaging students with different staff members that we got to speak to, as well as the director. And she was very adamant about the fact that she wants the site to reflect what's actually happening at ABC of NC. So we got to see different things and how updated it was and how different that was from the website. So our process for tackling this task was to, first of all, look at the current website and catalog all the information that they currently had so that when we were redesigning, we made sure we didn't miss anything. Then we transcribed the conversation we had at our site visit because the staff that we talked to had a lot of ideas for what they envisioned for the new website, and we wanted to make sure to include all of those in our process. Then we looked at other websites as examples um, because none of us have experience in redesigning websites. So in order to look at the layout and the different kinds of web pages and links, we went to those um, other websites that looked what looked like what we would want the new website to look like. Then we walked through the current website as different types of users, which means First, we looked at the website as if we were a parent and um, decided what kind of information parents would need to see and how we could make it more accessible. Then we also looked at the website as medical professionals or as people looking to donate and determined what links they would need to see and how we could make those links obvious to them when they came to the website. Then we began reorganizing the information on the website and looked back at our catalog to make sure that when we were reorganizing it and putting it under new tabs that we didn't leave anything out. Then lastly, we turned this into our final report, um, which we submitted to ABC of NC. So the first thing we do is looking at the old website and then as it shows the picture of kids is really like 10 years ago. So it need to be more up to date. And then also for the top bar, those information are not cleared for serve for what purpose, such as for parents or for medical professionals. And then also the, the professional level for the information is really not specific about what definition is autism and then also how can they do for help those information is like scattered around in different sections so it's not really organized and then not very engaging for users to look at it a search bar or more organized website will help the users to know more about abc of nc and get the get the help they needed So as we previously mentioned, we looked for example websites to help 
us decide on what we wanted to do to change one, the current one we're doing. And as you can see, these are the two websites we chose and they have similar services as ABC of NC, so such as Autism and Boston Children's Hospital. And so here we can see that the pictures are very engaging and that each um, drop down bar and as well as having you know, the search bar and the location services for the site and also signing up for appointments. It's very clear and straightforward and each drop down bar kind of tells a parent, a medical professional, or someone looking to donate would want to do for that website and how they would navigate it. And so we were really searching for clarity here and we think that this is really how the direction of the ABC of NC website should go. So after this process, um, when we were creating our final submission, our partner site left it up to us how to um, deliver our findings and gave us very open-ended um, opportunity to um, come up with the format for this submission. So what we decided on was to, first of all, make a report that gives in detail what we how we want to reorganize the web pages, what order they would go in, what category they would be under, and all the pages, all the links that are related to each other. And then along with this written report, we created a slideshow that has images from example websites that demonstrate how we want the layout to look. So, when we submit both these things, they can both have detailed instructions on the new reorganization, as well as inspiration for the new visual look of the website. As none of us have experience in building websites, we discovered that by using other websites as example, we could help ABC of NC get a new work without reinventing the wheel. In order for a nonprofit to reach as many people as possible, that may require their services. It's necessary that the website be easy to navigate and understand. In this way, ABC of NC have greater presence in the community and more people can get the help they need it. And our project by looking through the old website and they inspect all the information they has and based on what we know about our website and then the new information provided by site visit we can know how the new website they want to look at and picture it in a further step by making a bullet points and then write a final report of the, our suggestions on new website, ABC of NC can have a clear step when they're moving on how to change their new website will be. So it will be easier for them to design a new website by making having this checklist and then have those bullet points. In general, it's a really fun project we do and then we really enjoy that because we learn a lot through making the bullet points and then looking at their website. And then we also learn a lot about what National ABC NC has and they're really impressed with it. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you.